Worst day of my life. 22nd of March 2023. I've been diagnosed with um, stage 3 bladder cancer. I've spent a day telling family and friends that I love that I'm now on day one of living with cancer. Um, I've decided being as the type of person I am I am going to fight it, and I'm going to fight it to the bitter end, regardless. Um, I've also decided to do a video diary of, from start to hopefully finish and be free of cancer. But I decided that all this is down to one thing, and one thing only, and this is down to being a bloke that doesn't think when something's wrong, it's wrong. Um... Tail end of last year, I noticed blood in my urine. I didn't think anything of it the first time. I just thought, okay, that's not normal. I didn't get it again for a few weeks, maybe a month. Had it again. Roughly five to six times in the space of three months. Um, again, like I say, it was not consistent. It wasn't all the time. It wasn't after every time I went to the toilet. It was just random and occasionally. But... It was red, as in it was as if I was drinking red wine red, which is not normal. That is not normal for any man or woman to be that colour. I then ha made sure after it got to the stage, it was like, right, this is not good. This is not normal. I need to go to the doctors. I went to the doctors. I got referred to a specialist in Shrewsbury Hospital. I had a camera put into my bladder where they found two abrasions on each side of my bladder wall. I was then re-booked in for three months later to see if these abrasions were still there, and unfortunately they were. These abrasions were then made to have make me have a biopsy, which I had a week on Friday, last Friday. The results which I had today with off the biopsy, I have a aggressive form of stage 3 bladder cancer um, it's not what I wanted to hear but that's what it is I can't change it I can't go back in time I can't go, I should have gone there after the first time but there we go, these things you know, this is what happens um, I've decided to do a video diary of the process more for one for me so hopefully I'll be able to look back on it once I'm free of cancer and just see how hard this journey was also I would also like to do it for the fact of if one person male or female has the same symptoms but gets to the doctors early it might not be stage one, stage two, stage three. It might not be cancer at all. It might be caught before. Unfortunately for me, it wasn't. But again, I can't change that. Um, smoking is probably one of the biggest death factors for me. As I suppose there is a lot of people that smoke, oh, it won't happen to me. It doesn't really matter. Oh, I don't really mind. It's not going to affect me, blah, blah, blah. Yes, it will. <laughs> there's no ifs ands and buts there smoking is bad smoking will kill you eventually it's not good for you there's enough document proof and documented evidence that smoking is is horrific it's not good 
I'm not preaching to people to tell you to give up smoking. I'm not preaching to people about anything about smoking. But let's be completely frank here. Smoking is a big cause of it. Um, if I can help one person, fantastic. That, that's that's my job done. I'm happy. Um, I just really hope that over time these video diaries go up go out get shared with as many people as possible just to show that as much as you never think it's going to happen to you it may you know it may i mean cancer these days is not like the old days where the words cancer and it was a death sentence it's not like that anymore there's more treatment there's far more ways of helping to live with cancer there's far more ways to get treated for cancer. I myself, unfortunately, with the level and the stage I'm at, I'm going to have to have my bladder removed, um, have a stoma fitted, which again, I'm, I don't mind. I'd rather have a bag and live than, than not and die. Um, obviously, then after the stoma, it's chemotherapy. It's not going to be nice. It's not going to be pretty. And it's going to be days where... I just don't think I'll be able to cope, but I will cope and I will get through it. Whether it's stubbornness or it's with the help of my family and my friends. Either way, or all combined, I will get over it and I will get through it and I will fight it to the bitter end until I go down that corridor at the end of it and I kung fu kick that bell. This is difficult. It's not easy. Uh, people who know me know that I'm pretty well, very. I'm a positive person. I try not to look at the bad in things. I try to look at the good in everything. I try to make people laugh. I try to make people have fun. I try to make people have, have an impact on people's lives where. I'm remembered for, I don't know, bringing a bit of joy in somebody's life. I want to also now try and help people that maybe believe, oh, well, it's only once, it's only happened once, it, might, it won't happen again, then it happens twice. Once is bad, twice is worse. You need to, something needs to get done. Blokes are the worst, blokes are always the worst. Oh, it's okay, it's only the once, it'll be fine. Oh, I don't need to see the doctor. I remember this happened to me years ago. It doesn't matter. If something like that, if there's a change, you go and see the doctor. End of subject. You don't mess about. The end of the day, you've got one life. That's all you've got. You don't get a second chance. When you die, you don't come back and do it again. You have one go at it, and that's all you have. I'm 52. I'd still like another good 20, 30 years. I'm not ready to go. Far from it. Like I said, it's the worst day of my life, bar none. And there's probably going to be days along this journey that are going to be worse. But I'll get through it. I'll find a way. Family, friends. Whatever. Um, I will do another video diary when I have more. I would say it will probably be now when I go. I've got to go out and have a CT scan Monday. And then once that's been done, the next thing then will be my bladder surgery and bladder removal. I'll then do a video about... Obviously not of the process, but of the recovery and all the subsequent things that follow, which will be chemotherapy, life living with a stoma, life living with a bag. If that's the case, I don't care. I'll live with a bag. I'll happily live with a bag for the rest of my life. Doesn't bother me because I'm alive. Just get yourself checked.
if there's something different, get it checked. Because you don't know. Nobody looks at me and goes, oh, he looks ill. He doesn't look well. He needs to go and see a doctor. I don't feel unwell. I don't look unwell. I'm not unwell in myself. Outside. Inside is a completely different matter, but you can see inside. And this needs to be, people need to be made aware. If this changes, you get them checked. Because it'll be too late if you don't. I'm stage three, I'm not stage four. I'd rather be stage one or two or stage zero, but that isn't going to happen. But with my, hopefully I've got it caught and may be slightly late, but I've still got it caught in time. If you ignore it, it won't be like that. It'll just get worse. It'll be stage three, stage four. It'll be terminal. You need to get it checked. You need to do things to make sure that you are looked after when you think that there's something in your body that isn't right because you can't see it internally your body gives you signs but you can't see internally you can only see what's external and you need to do something if you believe there's something wrong I'm not preaching I'm not a preacher I'm not telling people what they have to do but I'm going to tell people what I have gone through and show people what I'm going to go through so people may never have to go through this I would just like people to share it share this video with as many people as you can find I'll have it up on my YouTube channel and I will have then subsequent videos going through the whole process good bad and everything in between I'm not going to sugarcoat it I'm not going to hide how bad it is on my worst day I'll have somebody video me because I probably won't be able to do it but I'm not going to hide and I'm not going to shy away from the fact to all my friends and family and people who know me sorry I, I love you I really do but with your help I will get through it all of my friends and family I'll get through it regardless I will get through it I'm not giving up I'm not rolling over and lying down I'll fight it and I'll fight it to the end. Just please get yourself checked if you think something's different. Don't wait. Don't don't brush it under the carpet. Don't pretend that everything's fine because it may well not be fine. It could be fine, but it may well not be. So do not pretend that things are okay when they may not be. Just please, please check yourself if you feel that there's something different in your body.